This is the daily preventative maintenance check on a 600 gallon asphalt distributor. The first thing we want to do is to check the motor oil three ways. Visual for amount and color, feel for grit and grime, and smell for burnt odor. The second thing to check is the crankcase breather cap. Make sure that it is not dirty. If dusty, tap or blow all the loose dust out. If clogged with oil and dirt, wash in solvent. Replace and secure the cap. The third thing to check is the battery. Clean the battery top and visually check the electrolyte level. Inspect the battery posts and terminals for corrosion. Inspect the case for cracks and grasp the terminals to check for looseness. Remember, batteries contain acid. Inspect the battery hold downs. Fourth, we will inspect and clean the lenses on the rear of the distributor. The fifth step is to loosen, remove, and inspect the oil breather bath for oil level and cleanliness. Next, reattach the oil breather bath, making sure that it is firmly connected. Sixth, bump the starter to see if the battery is operational. Seventh, we check the gasoline level to make sure we have an ample supply of fuel for the day's service. Also check the drain valve at the bottom to see that it is not leaking. Eighth, inspect the gas line leading to the engine for possible cracks and loose connections. Also clean and inspect the fire extinguisher making sure that the unit is completely charged. Ninth, check the kerosene line, elbow fitting and valve at the bottom of the tank to make sure there is no leakage and that it is shut off. Tenth, when mounting the distributor, make sure that your footing area is not slippery. Eleventh, remove the cap from the tank and check the level. First by eye and then by hand to ensure that you have the proper amount of kerosene and then properly dismount. Twelfth, check the tire pressure and the lug nuts with a buddy bar. All tires should be inflated properly. All lug nuts tight. Thirteenth, move to the propane regulator. Clean the gauge lens and read the pressure. Visually check all valve lines and fittings for defects. Check the chain on the propane tank to ensure the tank is secure. Clean and check the gauge and the valve on top of the propane tank. Make sure the valve is shut off. Dismount and proceed to the burner valves. Fourteen, check both burner and main propane valve to make sure they are off. Also check your burner connections and set screw on top of each burner to make sure they are not loose. Fifteenth, move to the other side of the distributor and check the propane tank 
as we did on the opposite side. Also check your thermometer well for oil level. The thermometer must be covered with 10 weight oil to read accurately. 16th, continue with your tire check the same way as previously covered. 17th, place your buddy bar aside, move to the hand spray valve and check to make sure it is in the off position and that the drain and fill pipe caps are secure. 18th, go to the main control valves. Check your four-way selector valve and also your two-way fill circulate valve to make sure they are not frozen and are operational. 19th, inspect the kerosene hose including the valve and the fittings for cracks and looseness or swelling of the hose. Clean the lens on the pump tachometer and clearance lights. Also check the side shift lever to make sure it is locked. 20th, dismount and clean your side clearance lights and your brake light lens. 21. Make certain that the valve is in the circulate position. Last, make sure that your spray bar is raised before you move the unit. Serious problems occur with the low bar, such as breaking the pipes and contamination of the spray nozzles. This concludes your PM walk around and check on a 600 gallon asphalt distributor. Well, there you have it. The preventive maintenance procedure for an asphalt distributor. One last thing I want to remind you of. Just like on any other equipment, remember to fill out one of them PM checklist sheets every time you do one of these inspections. Preventive maintenance. If you do it every time you use us, it's one short walk around that saves both you operators and us distributors a lot of headaches. Well, I'll be signing off now. Maybe I'll see you up the road. And I'll leave you with one little thought that might brighten your day up a bit. You know, one thing us guys that work with asphalt can say is that we're always in the black. <laughs> A little distributor humor there. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hmm, I thought it was pretty good. Thank <laughs> you.